Welcome to this session on creating elevations. In this exercise, we're going to actually create two elevations and we're going to place them both on the same sheet. And this time we're in that ground floor plan that we set up in the last exercise. And all we're going to do is place an elevation call out on that sheet. And that's actually going to create that saved view back in our master model. And again, create the drawing and the sheet. So I'm going to select my elevation call out. We're going to use the regular elevation. We're going to select a drawing seed. So in this case, I'm going to use this example architectural exterior elevation half sheet because I want to place my first elevation on the bottom half of the sheet. And then when I create the second elevation, we'll place it on the top half of that sheet. And for the height, we're going to select from model. That really means it it's going to go back to that master model and take the entire range of that model for the elevation. The other option here would be from view. If I select that, it will use this floor plan view. And so it would really be just this floor plan. If you were doing interior elevations, for instance, that's when you would use from view. But we're going to select from model and of course create drawing. Now I simply want to place that elevation marker where I want it on my sheet. So for instance, if we want to do a front elevation here, I'm going to place it here. And then the second point will determine basically which direction it looks or what's the rotation. And so I just want to make sure I'm using my AccuDraw to go straight up there. And again, we, we get that same dialogue. So I'm going to name this one Elevation Front. We're going to create a drawing model. Again, we want to create that as an external file. And we have to create that new drawing file. And so now my elevations are going to be A2. And then I'll give it the same name. Again, copy the clipboard. And we're going to select Save. We'll do these also at eighth inch to a foot or one to a hundred in metric. And we're going to set the visible edges to cached. We're also going to create that sheet model. We're going to create the new file and come and select this icon. And I'm going to put my name in there. Now I'm going to use this sheet for both this front elevation, but also a side elevation. So I may not want to be so specific in the name. I may just want to say A2 elevations. And then again, I put sheet after it and select save. So this is a new sheet. It'll be full size. Now here's where I'm going to select that drawing boundary. And in this case, this front one I'm going to put in the bottom half of the sheet. So that's the drawing boundary I select. And my detail scale should be eighth inch to a foot. Again, I want to add it to my sheet index, but I need to select the appropriate folder. So I'll select this icon. And this time, expand my architectural. I'm going to add it to the A2 elevations folder. And we'll select OK. And then we'll select OK. And again, it's going to go back and create that saved view or dynamic view in the master model, and then also create the new drawing file and the new sheet file. So now you can see the, the new marker for the elevation. It's already numbered and linked to the sheet. You'll notice, I mean, if you select the marker, you can see the actual clipping where the model is clipped. And you may want to make adjustments to these. So for instance, wherever the side is clipped, it's going to automatically add our floor elevations to the side of the drawing, but it's going to use that edge of the clip as to where it adds them. So if you'd like to see them closer to the building, 
you may want to drag that in a little bit. And for instance, I might snap to the edges of my grid lines there as a kind of consistent point there to, to clip. Now, before we go open that up, let's go ahead and set up the second elevation. So I'm going to also do a side elevation over here. So it's just the same process. We're going to select our elevation callout tool, make sure we're using the, the same template. We'll select from model. And I'm going to come over here and place a callout. Again, you want to make sure you've got your AccuDraw locked so you're, you're going straight to the building. And we're going to call this one elevation side. We're going to create that drawing model, come out here and create the, the new file. So now we're going to have an A2 elevation side. We'll save that. Now we're going to create the sheet model, but we want to select this same sheet. So we're not going to actually create a new sheet file. We already have the sheet file, the A2 elevations. We're going to use that same file. And as far as the sheets, we want to select that sheet where we put the elevation front. But we're going to use a different drawing boundary. So we're going to use this time the elevation top. Notice that the elevation bottom isn't even listed now because it was already used. So we're going to select the elevation top. And we want our detail scale to be the same. We don't need to add it to the sheet index because that sheet was already added to the index. So that's all we have to do on this one. And we're going to select OK. And again, we have our clipping. And I'm just going to drag the, the handles there and, and line things up. Now let's expand our project tree again. Let's open up our drawings architectural. This time we'll look at elevations. And we should see two new drawings there, the front and the side. So let's go ahead and open up the front elevation. So there's our front elevation from the model. Now, in the structural model, there's actually some geometry that is underneath the building, under the, the basically the elevator pits and so forth. Perhaps we don't want to see all of that in our elevation drawing. We could open up the model and, and change the, the clip of the dynamic view. So let's try that real quick. If we use our selection tool and notice there's a yellow marker in here. That always indicates this is the active marker for the drawing that we're in at the moment. And I put my cursor over that. You'll note, again, I get that mini toolbar that pops up. One of the options there is to open the design model. That's going to open my master model with this view exposed and the, the clipping volume. So let's go ahead and do that. So you can see here that we're in that amaster.dgn. Now it looks a little different because we're in that view that we set up for the elevation. And it actually has layered on top of that the sheet and the annotations. Now if I go to the view attributes and I turn on markers, so this is to get those markers that show us where the dynamic view is. So there's the markers, and I can select again that elevation marker. And you can see here, here's the, the clip for the bottom of the elevation. I can just modify that and bring it up if I like so that I don't see all those footings. So 
So I modify my actual clip. And that will automatically be synced back to the drawing. So we're going to then just browse back to our drawing. And you can see now we just have our building elevation. And then again, we may want to add some additional annotation or even line work. So here's an example where maybe we want to put in a heavy ground line. Now, if we actually had built our model on a 3D site, we would you know, have something we could actually cut through. But in this case, we didn't. So I'm just going to change my line weight here and, and create some kind of heavy line and then just use my smart line tool and draw a line across the bottom here just to give it a nice heavy weight. And then again, we could add some dimensions. Again, I will select a dimension style. And then maybe I just want to put some floor to floor height dimensions. And we'll go ahead and put those dimensions on. Maybe I can get the top of our roof elements here. And then let's go take a look at the sheet. And this time I'm going to go to the sheet index because we can also navigate to sheets from the sheet index. So let's expand our architecture and here's our A2 elevations. There's this new A201 sheet, which, which was the elevations. And I'll double click on there. And you can see here we have both of the elevations set up. And you'll see on this one, we've got the dimensions that we added to the drawing and we had changed the clipping. We added the heavier ground line. And so all of that, of course, shows up on the sheet. And we'd go and do the same to the other elevation as well. Now in the next session, we'll set up a building section and place that on a sheet as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.